Hello. Sorry, this is uh, going to be a few minutes late because I'm recording this. Facebook is obviously goofing around with its live producer. So we're going to do it this way. All right. Space. <laughs> uh, considering spiritual space as a discipline and a spiritual attitude and an aspect is a very important aspect of spirituality and of discipleship. All right, so what does that mean? Well, obviously, you know, providing for yourself a place that is physically receptive to prayer and devotions is important. I talked a little bit that, about that from time to time. But there's also the aspect of uh, spiritual space as a theological concept and reality. So, yeah, okay, that might be too much. Let me Let me build up to that. So spiritual space is something that you can consider uh, for for yourself and for those around you. Uh, and that might boil down into what does my attitude look like combined with your spirituality, right? So if you're finding yourself a bit short fused or stressed or, oh, I touched my face, you know, <laughs> and you're freaking out about every little thing, you know, this might be a really good practice to you know, take a couple deep breaths. And think about yourself as just giving yourself space. Doesn't matter where you are, but just think about yourself in in a more open sense. Think about your presence. Meditate upon God being with you, but you're not crowded in. Good. Let that sit with yourself. Let that be where you are. And now what we're going to do is we're going to just let that sit for a moment and we're going to read Psalm 103 and we're going to just let it sink into yourself. Let it well, just kind of expand where you are. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquity? who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good as long as you live, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works vindication and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the people of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding, in steadfast love. He will not always accuse, nor will he keep his anger forever. He does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his steadfast love towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far he removes our transgressions from us. As the Father has compassion for his children, so the Lord has compassion for those who fear him. For he knows how we were made. He remembers that we are dust. As for mortals, their days are like grass. They flourish like a flower of the field. For the wind passes over it, and it is gone, and its place knows it no more. But the steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him. And his righteousness to children's children, to those who keep his covenant and remember to do his commandments. The Lord has established his throne in the heavens and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, O you, his angels, you mighty ones who do his bidding, obedient to his spoken word. Bless the Lord, all his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. So a key component of space is off waiting and that kind of spiritual decluttering of placing what belongs 
correctly where. So oftentimes, uh, cramped feelings and a cramped spirituality is from us trying to load too many burdens on ourselves and trying to approach things as though we are able to handle them. Um, and most often we're not. And we're not able. And so reading something like Psalm 103 in the Bible, uh, many, many scriptures talk about the necessity for us to approach the sovereignty of God, appreciating what God does for us. So this is a whole attitude of perspective. This is also kind of an attitude of um, issuing forgiveness in the sense that God issues forgiveness to us. God has compassion for us and has uh, steadfast love for us. And we need to allow ourselves to be in that softness of space with God. And we need to approach this with that, that attitude of Jesus, you know, who, who frequently went away to quiet places in order to, again, recapture that space with God, that space of love and compassion, that space of being renewed. Let us close with a time of prayer. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your time with us, your closeness to us. We thank you for the freedom that you give us to be who you want us to be. We thank you for claiming us as your children and for being with all that are in need tonight as we lift them before you. Guide us to place our trust into your care. Guide us to relieve our burdens onto your yoke. In the powerful name of Jesus, we pray. All right, I hope that you have a good and restful night. Take care. Bye-bye.